going on guys, Dopesar930 here, and in this video we are going to be basically taking a device tour of the Titan 1 USB dongle, so let's get into it. So, for one, we have the input port, which is going to be on the bottom, this is where you plug in your wired controller, or if you have like a Bluetooth dongle, if you're using it wirelessly with like a PS3 or PS4 controller, that's where that would get plugged into. On the top, we have the output uh, USB port, which will plug into your, your console, whether it's your PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, doesn't matter, that's the, the port you use to plug it into. On the top of it, we have an LED screen with a backlight, which will essentially show you what memory slot you have loaded, um, let you know if there's any error codes, and it will display various information for you. And we also have a button, which will also be used to switch between memory bakes and make selections. On the side we have a PC programming port, this port is going to be used to connect this device to your computer where you can then program it with different things like macros and rapid fire and uh, whatever other profiles or things like that you might want to download. And on the bottom we've just got a tiny little reset switch in case you have any problems when you're updating the firmware or something goes wrong you can use this reset switch to kind of correct or reset the firmware on the device. Alright guys, so next we're going to take a look at the device's LED display which shows again various information. We're just going to go through what each thing is. Basically if it says 0 that means no memory slot is loaded. Any number between 1 through 9 is a memory slot. It's basically displaying which memory slot is loaded. If you have these two lines it means a script was loaded by running build and run command. Three lines means device is in capture mode, a plugin is handling the I.O. data. A dot with a line on the bottom means that there is no console connected. Flip that around with a line and a dot on the bottom, you have uh, basically no controller connected. AU flashing indicates that the console is requesting authentication. E means the controller connected is not supported. P means that the device is in programming mode, like if you're flashing the firmware. Next, we're going to show you how to connect the device to the PC. You're going to need to download the GTuner software, which I will go ahead and link you to on this website. You basically go to the download page and download the software and you know you'd install it like you would install any software really this uh, software is not optional especially if you're trying to get all the features out of your uh, Titan Once you've installed the software, then you can go ahead and plug your device into your computer. Basically, you're going to use the supplied USB cable or another one if you have it. Plug one end to your computer, other end will go into your device, and your device will basically, the LED display will start going in a circular motion. And um, it should automatically install the drivers for this device, um, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. But this is basically how it'll look. And once you've plugged in the device, you'll know it's connected because in the actual software, if you go down to the bottom and you click the tab for Programmer, It'll have a little kind of column where it'll say to, you know, you can't connect. And as soon as you connect it, it'll basically have a list of all the different game packs that it has. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this device overview or kind of like, you know, device tour. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos for more videos. And I will be making more videos on the Titan one in the near future. So thanks for watching, guys.